actually. Oh, little trick. Oh, Wukong is going for the all-in. Forces a flash out of Teemo. Teemo is going to stay in lane. I'll respect him. Flash forward. But the blind is going to turn it around. Yeah. Actually, if Wukong did use the W earlier, he would have gotten the kill because the blind would have hit his clone. Right. But there's just a little bit of a mechanical error on the side of Wukong, uh, causing apocalypse. But still a favorable trade, I believe. Yeah, but, but I think might. he gives the pressure back over to Teemo now because Teemo did yeah. level up. Sure. Garvin is going towards his top side. Going to get spotted by the pink sword. Dead might go for an all in here. And he ults onto the rise. But the uh, exhaust is gonna null said stamina. Well, a huge minion wave that Cosmopolis is missing here. Really just unfearable. He might try to Going for an all in and he's kill Teemo. No knowing his damage. Very well. Flash forward by Ryze. And he's gonna kill Zed. We see Ryze is punishing the lack of ultimate from Oriana. Uh uh. Yeah. yeah. And he's capitalizing on the fact that Oriana just used his W, so he had no escape. Mm-hmm. Very well. And with that, I believe Oriana is going to lose a wave of CS, and Rise is going to going to uh, be ahead of that. With that, Rise uh, actually clears up much of the mid lane pressure. He's going to be able to utilize that Rise ultimate to even greater degree to maybe try to gain the Hondel bot lane uh, in order to release some pressure from the lane. This home bell bottling is offer is applying a lot of pressure. Draven up 30 CS over this Caitlyn. He's very strong. If he gets a kill, he's going to cash out. So I'm not sure uh, what this bottling is gonna do. Jarvan oh. is. Rihanna doesn't have W anymore. Rise might be looking for another trade. Get some good damage onto the Z. Guys, that's just not enough. Easy. And Rise is just, just learning his skill shots perfectly onto the Z. He's definitely capitalizing on the mistakes by Oriana. Yeah. Oriana is not playing the range very well, getting too close without his W, without anything to trade back. Mm -hmm. Misses his shurikens again. Orion is just not having a good a good lane with this matchup. I believe the exhaust actually did turn this lane around, so very good choice there. So, uh, hand by hand. Definitely um, getting things together this game. Mm -hmm. So far, better performance than last game. Wukong is going to go in, but gets blinded by Teemo. Actually misses his Q because of the blind. Very unfortunate for Wukong, but very well played by uh, Fighter Boy. And he's gonna go all in here. He's gonna, he's gonna hit three shrooms for his, for his kill. And a good steal by Caitlyn, able to steal the dragon with the pacemaker. Very impressive. I'm not sure uh, if Gold Line Leon did have like that, but that was just. Well played by the bot. Just yeah. I mean, I I saw that Karma and Kaylin queued at the same time, so they had a lot of burst there. Yeah. And once again, this bot lane, Homedale Esports bot lane, really ahead. Mm -hmm. Might be pressuring first tower. Yeah, yeah actually. Biotech Technologies jungler is top gun, so I don't think they can respond to this. Uh, both, mid both junglers heading towards the mid lane. That is going to get taken down. Gold Alliance do anything about it? It's too late for Gold Alliance. 
there. I'd like to talk about the Karma pick. Actually, I'm not too sure why they picked the Karma, because Arn Sensor wasn't their last match, so I don't know if it was just to counter uh, the damage intensive bot lane here. Going in, and he gets cancelled out by the grave. Good ultimate by Fuzzy Bunny. And ult! Oh, Draven flashes, trying to get the second ult onto the third four, but not enough. Very well, uh, very good capitalization on that overextension by Palmdo, but unfortunately, just a little bit, a little bit uh, lacklustering on the uh, mechanic side of things. Uh, Clark able to actually cancel that uh, Jarvan E2. So. As you said, very well played. Now he's up almost 50 CS. And he is getting a lot of gold in his bot lane. Actually, the bot lane's heading towards top lane. I think they really want Blark to actually cash out his stats. Yep. Emo is hidden though. Yeah. What? Already, uh, a death stance completed on Draven, far above CS than anybody in the game. So. Umdel is gonna pressure this Rift Herald. With all members in the top lane. Kong is going all in and does get the Q before blinded, but still gets blinded. Rift Herald is going around there. From Holmdell. Uh, Zed still have to take over the middle ever since that solo kill. That oh. Rift Herald is going to be secured by Ram. He's also going to pick it up. Raven heading towards the mid lane. Flash forward by Ramus under Tor Parrot gets rooted. Raven able to cash out. That is a huge cash out, actually. I believe that was in the hundreds. Uh, got additional gold. So and that's he was able play. to. Sorry, he was able yeah, to no. get the shutdown. Mm -hmm. That's gonna release a lot of pressure for Ram. Who can actually punish the bot? A good flash forward from Wukong to help Brand with his wrong. They are able to get the team up. We Orion is going to try to split pushing. She's going to try to start uh, punishing the Caitlyn for not getting enough CS in the early game uh, in order to uh, get a couple solo kills, hopefully, for uh, Home Dell. Alright, they're trying to get back into this game, like we said, ever since the. Uh... Home Doe's bot lane just ridiculously over uh, ahead right now. They're both in CS and in kills. Right. Right. Yeah, they're and now they're applying the pressure across the map. Jarvan was trying his best to actually shut down the volume. Two ganks, two and two kills actually from Homedale it, uh, in the bot lane. So uh, it seems like I, I almost don't want to say this, but they're actually just giving gold every time they game. But uh, it's good. It's a really good effort from Biotechnology. Uh, unfortunately, it's just not working out. Funny, looking to go all in here and gets the knock up on Timo. Takes a shroom, and he's gonna continue chasing. Timo well, places he another. Not flash. Yeah. And Timo is going to make it out. Yeah. Wukong just unwilling to take more damage from that. Just decides to back off. Decides to just take the lane, the wave, and maybe push, uh, pressure the tower a little bit more uh, in order to get the first tower in the top lane. It looks like actually that both top laners are unwilling to join their teams. They seem to like to duel it out in the top lane. Just farming it out. Actually, their farm is quite high compared to the uh, to the other sides of the map. So it looks like it's working out for them. But this dragon he is super fed right now. Yeah. Four members of biotechnology in the bot side looking for a gang. Good realm warp by Rise, and he's gonna show up by him. Does he get the root on the Draven? Draven flashes up uh, before the J4 ult, and he's gonna fall down. Oh. 
very nice shutdown there by Adara Technology. Actually capitalizing on seeing uh, the Zed in the mid lane. They just really needed to get something out of the bot lane. It's gonna put Caitlyn ahead. So she got that. And Grant is gonna get caught out here. Misses all his spells. Flashes out. Rammus is here to help him. But he's gonna fall down anyway. Zed bolting onto the dark. He's gonna take him out with the arc. Never mind. Rammus takes flashes forward. Wukong's here now. And that's gonna be a bunch of kills for home though. Oh. The top laner teleported in, in a huge explosive fight, actually giving Wukong a kill. Actually, I had not realized that he was 4 and 1 before that kill. So, um, very impressive teleport from both top laners. Unfortunately, Teemo started channeling it just a little bit too late. Right. Play by Zed is normal. Thunder Lord's there, actually doing both Wukong and Zed. Uh, it's just a little interaction. They've been soloing the dragon. Just maybe just to display his dominance. Now up 4,000 gold. Oh no. Yeah. Looking to uh, continue pressuring this bot side. I believe most of that gold is actually a direct result of a large CS lead above Caitlyn and also the fact that. They have two towers over biotechnology, so I think biotechnology, if they want to win, they should try to group up, take some towers, maybe crush the building, which is looking like what they are about to do with the Jarvan. They definitely want this Draven to, to either get shut down or start falling off, but it'll be a long time before that happens. Yeah. He's catching up in CS though, the CS difference is not looking as bad as before, but of course it's the huge difference, which is contributing to the gold cap. But once she gets Runan, she will have the uh, wave clear. Uh, she'll be able to stall a little bit, I think. Actually, Karma's going for uh, a hard center. Um, actually. It's going to be very useful for the blue knight and the to actually dish out a major amount of damage. Kong is in the bush here, he's going to W and go all in onto Demo. Absolutely obliterating him, now 6 and 1. Timo's not having a good game. In the early game, actually getting the first blood, but afterwards, we call him just out killing the... the Flash forward by Karma with the Mantra. Good ult by Bran, and the ult followed up by Draven, and Bran has it been up. Oh, right, get the gun and he's gonna take down. Flash forward by Zed, and... Bran going in a little bit deep, going to be taken down by Jarvis. Draven also under tower. Can Caitlyn finish him off? This Draven does do a lot of damage. And he's gonna make it out, forcing the flash out of Caitlyn. Draven is out of mana. Actually, if he had caught his axes, then he would have been able to get out of the But of course, uh, Caitlyn, somewhat knowing her limits, just going to that quick trade, forcing him to that. And with no no one on uh, biotech, the stop side, hold those pressure. Biotech really just needs to scale out, scale. Uh, the Rise have, has used his ultimate, I think, only one time in this game, and, but the rest really, uh, rest of the team really scales. So, right. Ram is caught out here, but very tanky. Almost a 8k gold lead here from home now. Biotech though, still trying to scale with the Targons, Caitlyn. Waiting for that rune. Arden sensor has been finished on armor. But like you said, with the nerfs, I'm not sure how much it will do. Definitely still gonna private uh, some benefit, but definitely not as much as pre. Nice. 
Wukong is on this bot side, gonna pop the Yubus and flashes forward to get the Kaelin, who doesn't have any flash. 